t tell us about your journey uh, to come uh, to Wyoming and coach. Um, I'm a Wyoming native. Um, grew, grew up really in Kimmer, played at the University of Wyoming. Um, had a degree in business, but decided I wanted to go back into education and went to Shadron, Nebraska to get my education degree. Um, was married and wanted to live in Cheyenne, so ended up in Cheyenne teaching, coaching. Got the opportunity to work with some great coaches there and, and uh, just gone from there. What attracted you to track? Um, well, I was a, a football wrestling track guy in high school, really loved track. I got the opportunity to volunteer coach to start with at uh, Cheyenne Central with some really good coaches, Brad Pickett, Brick Sigelski, Bill Gadina, um, and just really enjoyed my time in, in track and have made that kind of my love. How much has tr coaching track changed with all the metrics and everything else than maybe 15, 20 years ago? Um, I don't know how much it's changed other than um, with, with technology, it's allowed us to be a little bit better at communicating with kids. Um, but I don't think coaching track has changed immensely because of, you know, we've always had stopwatches and tape measures. So, yeah, coaching track is really about getting kids involved and having fun and um, just helping kids be the best they can be. I'm sure you're not surprised at how many Wyoming high school track kids have made it in the college and the, and the Olympics. It's amazing, isn't it? It is truly amazing. And um, as I've reflected back on my career, the number of kids that I've had the opportunity to work with um, that have pursued NCAA um, careers in, in track and field is just unbelievable. It's And it's a, a humbling experience to see one of your athletes go on to college and, and compete at a very high level. What advice would you give the young coaches? Um, to work as hard as you can to help these kids be the best they can be, um, have fun and make sure that your kids have fun.